Hello, this is my final uh, operator overloading tutorial, although the first was very simple, it will be not too hard, but uh, we have to use a friend to make it, and I will show you why. As I uh, told you in the first tutorial, uh, there is two ways, actually, free to uh, use an operator in C++. The first is a plus a dot operator something and uh, operator plus for example and b okay this is work because uh, we make a as a mm, member function so a is our class and make operator to a member function the other is to make it uh, uh, global so oper operator uh, plus a b like that this will be the global version and we will use it now because uh, we will use the east stream or o stream so the scene and account and actually for that we cannot declare something in the east stream or o stream uh, we use the operator uh, we use a global version for that okay it may it may uh, make sense if we do it all right as i said earlier uh, to make it will allow us to do that so write out something without uh, so not just the building type so uh, user defined type all right then first of all make make an output so it will be the o stream uh, reference return type it has to be an o stream reference ha uh, return type and operator and now the operator you want to overload which is that because you remember count and you use this operator all right and inside uh, here we will need first an o stream reference and the actual uh, our actual object so the thing and actually make it a reference to all right and now we will define it here outside of the class okay thing uh, don't forget the do not uh, copy because you will forget to put this forget to remove the semicolon or something bad happened or forget to give the name so call it out and call that thing to t all right and we need uh, a last a little last thing this is to make it friend to so we can use our uh, variable so it will be a friend and actually i make a stupid thing uh, don't put that thing here because it's a global as i said we don't make it to a member uh, ma the me member function we made it to a global function all right then uh, yeah it's a friend of our class it's mean that we can use this uh, private variable as i said earlier in the tutorial uh, few before all right and we don't do nothing else just out and write the t dot something all right and that's it make a new line <laughs> we can do that and then we just simple return the out and actually that simple it is now if we compile that the this shouldn't give an error but we will see so uh, what is the name first the cpp declared in the class oh yeah uh, last time I show you an example of how easy to make a multiplication and I suddenly save it all right and actually I think I use this because I rewrite the addition to multiplication but if I don't make any more example which I save it suddenly then we will not get an error because our program works perfectly okay 
uh, let's see the it's not right out something because the t3 is zero actually it's right out zero but we don't want that make it t1 okay and now it's right out the 10 and the new line actually two new line because i make a new line here so this is just as simple as that to make an own output if you want you can put it like uh, this something is like that and if you just write out this t1 this will be write out the something is uh, 10 in this case so compile and run and as you can see the something is 10 now write out the t2 count t2 all right save it compile it and uh, run it the something is 5 the something is 10 so it is just as simple as that to make uh, this output for example in case of a uh, string it will write out the character array with a for loop or in case of a vector we could do so we may do that uh, it write out all of the elements so yeah you can do it whatever you want actually you don't have to make actually uh, that simple you can make loops in here anything in here you want so that's it for that we declared it friends so we can um, use these although if we wouldn't make it to friend there is we have a function get thing and actually we ca we could do with that although that is not the best solution usually a uh, plus sometimes because uh, imagine the following situation you have a class thing class uh, i don't know g and you have a variable a, an integer variable like one okay this plus will work g plus one uh, actually it will not work because but if we will make it to an integer now it will g plus one is work because we call we call because we uh, write the g and get the member function plus first it will search it in the class member function if it is fine so it is fine so we can add it so call that function and add the one to the g although in and if it's not fine here then it will try to search in the global scope actually a global function which with the first parameter a uh, thing and the second parameter is uh, an integer it will not find that but uh, that's not really matter okay uh, the next thing is uh, when you put it uh, in reverse order so one plus g in this case the compiler will uh, uh, see that it is a building type so it hasn't got an operator pl plus for thing object although it will see in the global scope so in uh, some cases it would be good if we could make a friend actually we could make a friend operator plus and it will make uh, oh return type think operator plus and it could wait two things an integer and the thing reference and in this case if we, if we do that it uh, it will work if it is reverse order as if it as it will not work so in this case it not work although the g plus one work the one plus g doesn't work Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day.